Hi, nice to see you. I'm so glad you're back and you decided to follow me. You know what? Miss Jacopini was so glad with the result of our first two videos that we decided to go on for a little while. Yes, so we will have a few more videos. Yes, yes, yes. And uh, today I want to talk about modern Omas nibs. Yes. And when I say modern, I mean nibs which have been produced from the 1980s up to, let's say, 2014, when Omas ended production, yes. So, to cut a very long story short, let's start from the beginning, yes. In the 1980s, Omas introduced new models, which were no longer in celluloid, but were manufactured in resin. Miss Jacopini doesn't want me to say plastic, so it's resin. Okay. And these models, which were called Paragon, but actually uh, you cannot find the word Paragon on the barrel, uh, had 14 carat gold nibs, uh, which were extra lucent nibs, but these were totally different from the vintage extra lucent nibs Omas had used before. First of all, because uh, the vent hole on these nibs is round, while previous extra lucent nibs, as if you remember, had uh, the vent hole in the shape of a small door. Yes, yes. And uh, on the Paragon model, almost used uh, uh, two-tone gold nibs, while on the Gentleman, they simply had single-tone uh, nibs, but to tell you the truth, there is no difference between these two nibs. It is exactly the same nib uh, because the contrast between yellow gold and rhodium is handmade and uh, the substance of the nib is exactly the same. Yes, yes. The 1990s were exciting time for pen production, yes. At that time, collectionism was booming and uh, there was a, a huge amount of uh, limited editions, uh, numbered editions, special editions. And uh, almost in the 1990s, first of all, reintroduced the use of celluloid and then produced a number of beautiful and famous models in resin too. So you have paragons in resin, paragons in celluloid, almost 360s in resin and almost 360s in celluloid and a number of other very famous models. And on all these pens, Omas used the 14 carat gold nibs, yes. They were very performing nibs, which had a, a fair amount of flexibility, but they were not really uh, as flexible as the vintage ones, no. But there are three limited editions, which Omas introduced in the 1990s, which in my opinion, are extremely fascinating because their nibs are somewhat different, yes. they have the same geometry but a different engraving and they are extremely flexible, yes! And these are the Alma Mater which was dedicated to the University of Bologna and the two Italia 1990 limited editions, the blue one and the green one, yes! On these three models there are 14 carat nibs which are fantastic writers, yes! They almost feel almost as if they were vintage nibs yes anyway uh, at the end of the 1990s almost um, left the 14 carat nibs in favor uh, for the 18 carat nibs uh, like uh, most uh, other pen manufacturers all over the world yes and uh, this passage from 14 carat to 18 carat was dramatic yes because it meant uh, the loss of flexibility, yes, because 18 carat nibs uh, are not so performing. Uh, they are nice nibs, very smooth, but they offer a very, very limited amount of flexibility. Yes, yes, I'm sorry for that, but that's true. Anyway, in the years 2000, almost finally uh, adopted uh, a new nib, uh, which was totally different from the previous ones. And these nibs were manufactured by Bok. 
and uh, they can be found on, for instance, uh, uh, New Style Milord and New Style Paragon Morals, as well as on the last uh, creation, Omas Marketed, which is the cruise line, yes. These nibs are different, they have a different geometry, a different style, a different um, engraving, and uh, above all, they are extremely rigid. Yes, they are very, very rigid. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so if you are looking for a flexible nib, don't go for these models because you would be dissatisfied. I hope that uh, my short review of Omas model nibs will be helpful for you. And above all, I hope that you will keep on following Miriam and the Pants. So see you next time. Bye bye.